What's going on guys, my name is Buckeye, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, we're going to be talking about Halo 5 Guardians losing players. Now, if you guys have been around on my channel for the past couple of weeks, you would have seen quite a few videos of me talking about Halo 5 being a little bit underwhelming in certain areas. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about the effects of this game being a little bit underwhelming. So, nowadays, with most games being out, they don't include a population counter in-game. Why they don't do that, I legitimately don't know, and it actually frustrates me a lot that they don't, because for me, I kind of judge what I'm going to play based off their population. Of course, a game that I really like definitely helps, but if it's a game that I really like that has nobody playing, I'm probably not going to play it that much. So talking about that, the way that people judge how many players are on specific games when it comes to Xbox One right now is the games list for the Xbox One. So if you go to the games list on Xbox One on Xbox.com, and you go to the shooters and then you go to the most popular, it shows you a list of the most popular games on Xbox Live in that category. So right now, I'm just gonna name off the top 10. So in first place, we have Black Ops 3, no surprise there. Then we have Fallout 4, FIFA 16, Grand Theft Auto 5, Star Wars Battlefront coming in at number five, NBA 2K16, Halo 5 Guardians, Madden NFL 16, Destiny, and Minecraft Xbox One Edition. So as you see, Halo 5 right now is 7th in the top 10 for the most popular games on Xbox Live right now. Now to give you a little bit of understanding how we can judge how many players are actually on the game at that point, if we go all the way down to 13th on the list, we have Battlefield 4. Now Battlefield 4, because it has servers, it's a great way to tell how many players are on the games on the Xbox Live list. So right now, basically Battlefield 4 kind of fluctuates around 20,000 players at a time. So if Battlefield 4 is at 13 and Halo 5 Guardians is at number 7, it's probably meaning that Halo 5 is around 100,000, maybe a little bit more than 100,000 players at one time on the game. I could be significantly wrong there because obviously we don't have specific numbers. There could be a huge jump from 13 to 7. I don't know that. But I'm saying that typically we could probably say it's about 100,000. Because if you look at Black Ops 3, it probably has anywhere from 300,000 to 500,000 players, most likely. Now, why do I bring this up? Well, just a couple weeks ago, Halo 5 was in the top three, right around the FIFA 16 Grand Theft Auto place. Of course, Black Ops 3 took over number one when it came out, but Halo 5 was sitting up there comfortably in the top five, and now it's down to number seven. That concerns me, because like I said before, that means that the population is significantly lower than what it was just a couple weeks ago. Now again, this all ties into these topics I've been talking about with Halo 5 these past couple weeks, with the game just being underwhelming in many areas. So I'll be honest here, I don't really know what to think about it right now. We have another content drop coming up here in December very soon. I heard December 6th for Forge. I don't know if that's legitimate or not. I just heard that it's going to be coming here pretty soon in December. So of course there will be another spike in the population when that comes out, and if they keep doing this monthly, then of course it will be a good thing to kind of keep longevity of the game going, but the problem still is underlining in the game, and I have another commentary I'm going to be talking about with this in the future. It's going to just be talking about Halo 5's a fun game, but it doesn't have any staying power. And I'll be talking about that later on. But in this video I just wanted to point out that Halo 5's population has dipped a good bit most likely at this point. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and tell me in the comments down below what are you thinking about this? Do you think that I got my numbers a little bit wrong? Are you concerned? Do you think this is okay? Let me know what you are thinking about this in the comments down below. I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say. And also, guys, we're trying to get 1,500 subscribers by January 1st. So if you guys want to help me out there, if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so. I'm going to be creating a lot of great content here in the coming weeks. But anyways, guys, that is it for me today. I will see you in the next one.